What's going on, my guy? I've seen this dude in a good little minute. No cap, bro. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. How's Maryland treating you? Man, I can't complain, man. You know, shit, just everything I expected, you know, just enjoying every day. You ever been up there, like before Before now? You been up there? No, nah, before that, I've been to D.C., but Maryland is like, it's my first time, really. Because you were at College Park, I'm pretty sure. I'm at College Park. You been here? You bro, I'm from there. Facts, you're from here. Come on, cuz. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I'm from there, bro. Off rip. What you like about Maryland so far? It's like, I know it's your first time in the area, I guess. Like, really actually being there. Yeah. What has like stuck out to you in the area that you like so far? Um, man, the only part of Maryland I've been in is College Park, you know. Like you haven't like, even been off of campus like that for real. Only part I go is DC. It's between College Park, DC, College Park, DC. You know. Um, of course, DC is different, but College Park, I feel like man, it's a college, college town. You know, college town school is chill. Um, what things stood out to me is really like the fans here, bro. Like, you know, the fans here will leave this, you know, like they really know what's going on, you know, like definitely do. I can't even lie. That was me, bro, growing up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, you know, I've been to USF. Of course, USF, they're not gonna leave it up because they're not usually like, you know, they're not good at basketball like that. So they have history. But like Maryland, like it's a basketball school. Mm. You know, so, so since I've been here everywhere I go and things like that, like they they really know who I am, type shit, you know, like whatever I go. So yeah, that shit really stood out to me just because of the love they're showing, they care, and you know, like other places here, they really welcome me when I came here. And like even to just get food, you know. Sometimes I, I don't even pay, even though, you know, I have to pay. <laughs> I don't even pay just because already of, they got it like that already for it. Dang. <laughs> hey, shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, Dang. but it's been good. Though. It's been good so far. Can people people be saying what's up to you on campus already? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a grad student, so I don't really be on campus like that. When I go, yeah. Okay. Okay. That's good. At least they treat you good, though. That's what's yeah, up. For sure. Yeah, yeah. bro. I, I grew up watching them soccer games like all the time. I went probably like once every other week or something like that. But bro, bro I, I was really out there. Yeah. And I, I like the campus too. The campus is chill. Good vibes. You know, it's not, it's not my new, but like it's it's chill. You know. Yeah. So I know, of course, from like watching you play at USF. You know what I'm saying? I already watched you train. We had the whole behind the scenes and everything. So like. What what kind of keeps you like ambitious, bro? Like I know how you have to work behind the scenes to do what you do on the court. Yeah. What keeps you ambitious? I would say like this is my journey, you know, like come from Angola and then had to live in Portugal for a little bit and then come to the States. So, like it's my third country, you know. You know, it's just, just being my journey. I always think about my journey, just being a different than everybody else. You know, just I'm in the States, everybody got their family here. Mm -hmm. you know? After the games, you're able to see your family, go hug them. I go to the locker room and I go home, you know? Like, unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I got to see, I got to have my, my brothers in Tampa this past year. They moved there with me. Uh, I was able to see them, my mentor and everything. So it was cool. But just my journey, just, you know, whatever I've been through, my family really keeps me going, you know, my motivation just because they're far away. They know it. They really don't be able to see the sacrifice, but they know, like, how hard. I have to work and then you know i always think about my family and my family really the biggest thing and that's what i strive for every day i woke up and i wake up think about them think about the sacrifice my mind my, my dad made to like to get me here you know so yeah that's really what it is and i keep god with me you know you know whatever yeah. i do like my yeah. mom is really big in, in god so she really kept me close to god and things like that she was like the main believer in the family, pretty much. For sure, like my mom and my mama, my mama side of the family, they really grew up in church. Like my grandma, she in church. Not they, had, they took you to church too. Like they would drag you to church. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I, I used to say the weekends with my grandma just to go to church because mm -hmm. she like she like yo, you can come to church with me no matter what. I'm gonna come get you, type. You know, so I just. I just knew, like, every time I go to my grandma, I'm going to go to church. You can't even complain now, can you? Nah, I can't complain. Can't complain. <laughs> Facts. Yeah. Nah, so I know, I know from, like, the video that we made, like, months ago, just, like, seeing your hometown, like, where you actually grew up, you know, all the schools, the basketball development programs and all that. Like, I know how much you mean to them, you know, and they mean to you. Like, is that one of your inspirations, you know, as you're on the court playing basketball? Yeah, for sure. Like, you know. 
um, only like probably three players from our country that did be in the stage, you know, playing high major basketball and then turning pro somewhere good too. You know, Bruno Silva was the first ones. I'm the third one, you know. So I'm in this point, like Bruno made to the league, Silva could make to the league, but things happen and then I'm trying to pursue that dream, you know. So mm -hmm. just be in that position, like I'm gonna live and prove of everything, you know. Just basically tell them anybody can do anybody's everything is possible, you know. Is possible. Yeah, whatever you go through, bro, like my journey, they can see all the people journey, but like I feel like just not giving up and give them hope, you know, like just because you're back back home in Africa doesn't mean one day you can come here Facts. you, you know, and be you and then like have the opportunity to have have that path, you know. So like I feel like everybody's gonna have a different path in life, you know, different path in the journey, but like it's about not giving up and it's about like staying close to that. So like, Yo, low key, like the big three of Angola, low, low key. You know what I mean? So like, yeah, it's just really staying, staying the course, you know? Bumps, the course. Yeah, bumps gonna happen. So what, you know, like, see, in life, everything happens, you know, things are not expected gonna happen on, on the court, off the court, you know? So you just gotta live through. It's how you like, it's how you take it, pause. But like, it's how you like, <laughs> it's how you like approach, you know. It's how you like. Respond. No diddy, no diddy. Yeah, no diddy. Yeah, it's how you. <laughs> oh no! <nah. laughs> Something happened to you. You gonna cry and go like you know. It's just go go tell go tell what, what you got going on. To somebody else like somebody else going gonna do something for you. You know, like I feel like you gotta do your own and then really like like learn. I feel like every loss is a is a lesson. It's not a loss, so you can learn from it. Bro, that's big. I was telling one of my boys that the other day, like, you know, it's only in hindsight that you realize, you know, especially if you lose continuously, you don't pay attention to it. Yes. Of course, you're going to just keep repeating that cycle. But if you learn, you pay attention. Oh, yeah. 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 Do, you, do you feel that pressure on the court at all? Because, like, I saw all them kids that was, like, chasing you around back at home, you know, like, you know, in your head that you, you carry that on your shoulders. Like, do you feel any of that pressure? I really don't feel that pressure because I don't really pay attention to it. Like, you know, like, I feel like being in this position right now is like, it's like a dream come through. But at the same time, I take it as a blessing, you know, because now a lot of people can be on their shoes and then, you know, like, not having this opportunity to be in their shoes. So, like, when I'm on the court, bro, like, like I, I put so much work that my work ethic, you know, my work ethic, I'd be like, yeah. I'd just be like, like, I don't feel no pressure because the work I put in is just so much that I feel so confident every time I step on the court, no matter what. No matter what shot I take, no matter, like, how I feel. Like, it's just, like, you know, when you put that work, like, I feel like this just translates to, like, what you do in life, you know? I remember, I remember I was watching your game, right? Because, like, I was sitting all the way close to the top because it was, like, the end of the season with yeah. USF. And, bro, I'm telling you, when you got in, at first I put my head down. Maybe like five minutes later, you had like 20 points. I was pissed off. So I was like, how did this dude just go off? And I missed like half of the points. Yeah. It made no sense to me. Because I remember like the last week, I don't think Coach played you like that. Yeah. I was like, tight. Was like, I can't get my pictures in. You know, yeah. I was trying to take pictures of you. Then the next game, I'm like, I didn't have my camera. So I'm just yeah. watching. Yeah. You talked about after the game too. Yeah. Bro, I'm like, of course this guy goes off when I'm not recording. Like, make yeah. no sense. But just, um, let me see. You got any advice for like any guards, guards, basketball players, people, of course, any kids that are watching you grow up, even in like the U.S. You have any advice for people that want to pursue, you know, the place that you're in right now or just a dream of trying to make it to the league? Uh, I will say like just, just keep going, you know, like there's going to be bumps in the road. There's going to be things that you're not expecting, but just keep going. Stay the course, you know, strive for greatness, you know. Uh, I feel like if you put the work in and really believe, Things gonna happen, you know. Like I got this quote here. I feel like it's the way you believe mm -hmm. you dictate the life you live. You feel me? The yeah. way you believe they're gonna dictate the life you live. So like if you believe everything you put in and just not giving up, because I feel like sometimes people believe and put the work in by so many bumps, 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 and they're gonna give up just because they keep seeing bumps. But I feel like this bump, those bumps is like test. They got yeah. to push you just to see. Like how strong you are, you know? How strong mm -hmm. you like, you know, keep going. Because you so many guards in the league. Yeah. Who's supposed to be in the league, but they're in the league. These guards that was supposed to get drafted, but they got drafted. Just because like they kept going. They never gave up. That's true. You know? like, like your boy, 
from Memphis, Lester. Like, he didn't get drafted he in the league. Mm-hmm. He never gave up. You know, like, just an example like that. Like, no, people thought he had like eight points, nine points in Memphis, but people thought he never would have been in the league. In the league. Yeah. Like, he never gave up. So, just an example like that. Just advice I give you just, just, you know, just if you got a dream, just really put your work into that dream. Though. You know, don't let nobody else tell you if you're good at it or not. Because at the end mm-hmm. of the day, they're telling you that they're not, they're not in your shoes. They're not leaving what you do. They're not leaving what you put on, like the, the work you put in. They're not doing that. They're just outsiders. They're going to tell you you're good or not. You know, to be Preach. You know, you Preach. know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just feel like. Just talk to God and really stay close to your loved ones. That shit, that really gonna help you a lot, you know. Things I really trying to do. Now, my circle is not too many people. I don't have new people in my circle. It's just really trying to stay the course, you know. It's just really those people that I started with is the same people I'm with today. Mm-hmm. You know, regardless, they're the ones that are gonna tell me the truth and the good. You know, they're not gonna always tell me they're not just gonna sugar coach me or oh, you're doing good, even though I'm doing good. But they're gonna tell me when I'm doing wrong. They're gonna tell you straight up. Yeah, they're gonna tell you, oh, you bullshit. Like today you did bad. Like this is how you like, you know, I'm gonna take it, pause. But like at the same time, like <laughs> yeah, like I'm a, you know what I mean? Like I this is how I respond, you know? Shit like that. So like, yeah, just my advice was just keep going and whatever you dream about, keep fighting for it. That's yeah. tough, bro. I appreciate that. You got you got a favorite verse by any chance? Favorite verse? Ah, let me see. Let me see. I take a lot of verse in my, you know. Or just a good one, one that that usually always pops back up in your mind. I would say like, wait, I got I got so many verses in my phone, bro. I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's good though. You got more than one. Some yeah. people should just be having one, and that's it. <laughs> this this is my favorite verse in my phone. Um, for where you having envy and selfish ambition, there you find disorder in every every practice. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like I feel like. Whatever, whatever is you like, have ambition for, he's always gonna have something trying to distract you from it. Mm. Like through practice, to like to do hard work, that's how you kill the evil. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How you get through? How you get through that? Whenever there's like distractions and stuff, what do you, what it helps you best to try to actually get through distractions? Man, I'll be honest with you, there's distractions everywhere, especially like you. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, being a, I ain't gonna lie, being a college basketball player, mm. that's probably the hardest position you can be trying to pursue your dreams. You know, mm-hmm. just any athlete. I'll say okay. the most football and basketball because they, they get the most attention. You know, mm-hmm. like people know you better because people like football and basketball more than like track and things like that. Yeah, being honest. So like being in this position is really like hard because you know there's a lot of distractions they come with. Like. You really gotta pay attention to like what you wanna do, you know. So like, I feel like stay close to to my loved ones, and um, like of course you're having fun. You gonna have fun. Yeah. Like, like you in college, like you're not gonna be inside every day. You know what I mean? Like you gonna have fun, but like cho- you gotta choose when to have fun. You know, you can just have fun just to have fun. Yeah. You no. Know? Still gotta be locked in. Yeah, still gotta be locked in. You know, like like I like I, I give you an example. I use I, I use preseason like off season to like. I'm working out, I can have fun. But when I know like a month before the, the, the main game, mm-hmm. I'm not doing anything else. Mm-hmm. From that month until March, it's locked in. Mm-hmm. I'm going to celebrate if it's a big game. You know what I mean? Me and my teammates, we're going to celebrate because it's a big game. You know in big games in college basketball like that. So you got to celebrate, you know? But mm-hmm. off season, that's when I, I have all my fun. Going out, chilling. I mean, my boys can enjoy but yeah, I feel like just stay close to my go- loved ones and really put the work in. And really not stay. I feel like social media really uh, triggers a lot. You know, oh. people post Twitter predictions, what this team going to be, who's the player going to be. Like, I really don't be on social media like that, you know? Okay. And it's crazy, too, because it already, you, like, you know, you know that I know Bruno from school and stuff. Yeah. The fact that I just be seeing y'all as people, I always forget. How y'all might see other people, you know what I'm saying? I just might, yeah. might run up all y'all or something. Like, oh, I gotta get a picture or whatever. Yeah. I'm like, bro, that's the that's the homeboy, you know? I mean, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. you was there with him the whole yeah, time. Really, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I just be like, yeah, stay really close to God and really just stay locked in, bro. Anybody can 
can't put the distractions on the side if we would want to chase that goal, you know? Like, mm -hmm. at, at the end of the day, you're in college, but, like, you're not in college to have fun. You're an athlete at the end of the day. You're trying to pursue your dream. Because after those four years go by fast, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. lucky enough. The 2020 class, lucky enough, we got the COVID year. Mm -hmm. He's able to get some money and chill and, you know, and have their fifth year. But the other ones, they only got four years. And those four years in college go by fast. If you're not one and done, especially those four years, that shit go by fast. Yeah. So, what, are you, what are you most excited? Like, you know, what are you looking forward to the most this season, this upcoming season? Man, I'm trying to win, man. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to the people here really excited about who they're bringing in this year and special the pieces that was already here. So we really just trying to build that and really just trying to win as much game as we can, like just to bring the culture back. You know, when you're in a basketball school and you lose, it's just it's not good, you know? Like it's just the, like the atmosphere is not going to be good and things like that. But like if you win and really prove everybody wrong, that's the best feeling. Just like we did last year, USF. Like we mm. proved everybody wrong. So that, that's the best feeling, you know? I definitely did. I ain't going to hold you. Yeah. Y'all yeah. 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 proved so many people wrong. Yeah. And then the yeah. season, the stadium was dummy packed. Packed, bro. Dummy like, you know, packed. like, we lost the first three games. People on Twitter trying to find that's out artists. You feel yeah. me? They like, people me on, on Instagram talking about where your address. Like, what's up? I'm like, bro, what's up? Like, you feel me? But we start cool. winning. Wow. He said, yo, pull up. We doing this, we doing that. You know, so like I was like, yeah, now we put pro people wrong. So, you know, it's the best feeling you can do, you know, just not stay, not stay too like, you know, connected hey, to don't be on social media like that. Social media, nah, I don't really be on social media like that. I really start posting on social media. If you go to my Instagram, it's just basketball. Just to really like, okay, cool. Like, you know, just leave it like that. Post when I have to post, or if I get tagged or something, but basketball, but like I really Putting my life there, I stopped it. Yeah, that's right. Just yeah. your brand. Whatever people see you, they're gonna judge. This is gonna put you down. You know things like that. So like, I really got a strong mind and really got good parents that really keep my mind strong. You know about social media things like that. That's so. good, bro. That's good. See, I don't even. I haven't. You know what I'm saying. I have not gotten to experience that side of life. You know what I'm saying. I, I was just a soccer player. And soccer, just like you said, football or basketball are the top sports. Yeah. So yeah. soccer, people don't really be in it like that, especially over in America. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Overseas. Sport, you know what I'm saying? So it's just being around, like, Bruno, especially. Bruno and Silvio, bro. Silvio, yeah. I'm not going to say he was a class clown, but Brody's hilarious. Brody <laughs> is hilarious. I used to hang out with him sometimes. I miss him. I haven't seen him since. Yeah. But, like, just being around those people, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to name drop everybody, but you know who went to, like, my high school, yeah, 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 other people. So after when they left, you realize it's hard to reach them just because there's so many people trying to get to them. Exactly. You know, you know like, and some people like go call them Hollywood, but like, bro, they gotta deal with a lot of shit. They gotta deal with hell. We don't know. I don't even know what they gotta deal with. You know, because there's so many people they're trying to reach and then yeah. we don't do respond. They feel like, oh, it's a bad. Nah, they gotta deal with so many things. Mm -hmm. Asking them for money and everything. You know. It's so many people ask them for money just because of who they are and they there. You know what I mean? So, like, I understand, especially people, like, in that position, millionaires, like, I understand why sometimes they go ghost. Yeah. Because there's so many people that they don't even know they're going to come out. They don't out even know that pressure either. And ask them for, for things that you ain't asked them before. You ain't get to know them the before. So how you want to yeah. get them now? You want to ask for, you know what I mean? It's yeah. just like, two different things. Even Kate, bro. Kate can I'm like, I understand, like, you know. Like, I play against him high school and college. Both ways, you know, when I, we knew he was about to make it because we was in the same conference. Mm -hmm. Like, even his, like, teammates, they used to be with him. Like, it's a lot of niggas, they be like, oh, this nigga Hollywood. Nigga, not Hollywood. It's just like, hey, you, you, know, you know? You like, ain't got a lot to deal with. Things that we don't know, you know? Bruno, you got to deal with so many things. But, that was tough. you know, basically, it's the face of Angola, bro, on some real shit. Yeah. You know, so like you gotta I didn't even think about that because I, I went to go see him for uh, I went to see him for a couple games, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And when he was at the A, now he's out in uh, Toronto. But I just I told him each time, like, bro, it's just I simply appreciate you for taking any time out of your day because I have no clue what you got to do. I you know I have no clue. You practice and freaking rehab, you gotta get the press, you got all that other stuff. You got, you know, you said Twitter, social media, so many nah, things, bro. 
agents. Now I'm on, you know, I'm understanding that side. You know yeah. what I mean? Like so many, like so many people come up, especially when you're doing good, bro. Like you just don't know who to trust no more. Real, mm -hmm. like that's real. That's real world because so many people they go come up with different things, trying to like be with you. That people, you know, there's different things like that. Yes, but I'm trying to avoid that as much as I can. Do you have like yeah. a go-to routine? Say if hypothetically, if you lose a game, right? And you know that you probably in your head, like you tight, you gotta come back for the next one, you know, you got practice coming up and stuff like that. What are there are there anything anything specific that you do just to get re-locked in or just to stay focused and not to, you know, have like them negative thoughts flow in and whatnot? Yeah, I feel like neg the negative thought thoughts they're definitely gonna be in your head. Just because like at the end of the day, you you still trying to do good. You know, like sometimes basketball players, or athletes in general, be on their head so much and they be like hard on themselves because they're always trying to do better. So, like, if you finish a game, you ain't really had the game that you want to have, and you lose a game, like that happened to me. Even like, even though you know last year it was come, it was one or two games that I really didn't do good, and and I think we ended up losing. It was the first game of the season. Like you know, like like I go home, like I be angry. You know, I be angry, but like when I'm close to my brothers. Mm. How they go away, and then I always just think about the next play. I always think about the next day, bro. Like, and nothing I can do about it. If I get mad, like, what's what's gonna what's gonna change? You know, like I I can predict the future. I can predict I can predict anything. So whatever happens, I really like gotta let that go. Like I really talk to myself sometimes, like, mm. let it go, let it go, let it go. It's gonna be hard, but it's gonna get a point in the in night time. It's gonna be I'm gonna let it go. Next day is next day. You know, like. At the end of the day, bro, you will come back and do the same thing. Practice, mm -hmm. with your teammates, be with the coaches. Nothing gonna change. Only thing you can change is waiting to the next game and change it. Right. You know what I mean? So like, you can't really do too many, too many things. Yeah. Yeah, I remember, bro, when I was playing soccer, especially at Montford. I mean, back when I was in Maryland, I played for uh, the academy team, DC United. Yeah. That's like the youth academy, and the main thing they will always tell us, especially after we lose, we didn't really lose much. At my verb, but like, of course, <laughs> the DC United, they would tell us like, if you would lose, I'm trying to think of like the exact saying. I remember now. I get it. I'm gonna restart at my verb. Uh, usually at my verb because we won so much. Yeah, you know, we won way too much. So we're like, winning was the standard, and it wasn't just winning like two, one, three to two stuff like that. Nah. You gotta win by more than three or four goals, and you actually have to play a good game. That's like a win. You know what I'm saying? And so every time we won, the coaches would still make a point. Like you can celebrate it for the rest of the day, but tomorrow you better come back with like different energy. Yeah, yeah. And because that's just how it was. Because like we weren't really allowed to even get comfortable whatsoever. Yeah, bro. like yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get too comfortable, bro. Like you can get too comfortable. Like when you're in a program, this is like standards this winning like even though we, they expect you to win like they're not gonna be happy like you're supposed to win you know like this might be how uh, Montverde was like they mm -hmm. know they're gonna win so they're trying to test you if you're gonna have the same mindset the next day mm -hmm. you're gonna be feeling comfortable or just be satisfied yeah they were uh, they were saying like the phrase was like today doesn't matter tomorrow matters more it's something like that because it was just along the lines of like no one's gonna. Oh, it was like no one's gonna remember what you did last game. Facts, facts. So you know, just like just keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Remember, like in a moment like, after the game, yeah, cool, you had two, three goals, twenty points. But the next day, bro, that shit over with. Mm -hmm. you know exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's no one. No one's gonna care about yesterday. Just keep going. Yeah, keep going. You gotta do better today. Facts. You got any food spots? You don't even be. Go on the campus. No, no, no. I do. I do, actually. Um, is, is this place called Bebop? What? Bebop? Bebop? Yeah. It's like a, it's like a, especially like Chinese Chipotle place. Oh, it's a, hey, hold up. Hold on. Because I don't, because there's a, so many spots that I didn't get to try after I left. Yeah. There's you know this place, Bebop. That's how they call it. It's Chinese food? Yeah. It's Chinese, but like, it's like Chipotle healthy. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. First halal Korean. Hey, that sound good. Yeah. First Korean. Yeah. First halal. Here in campus got like this Vietnam Vietnamese food, like with mm -hmm. the noodles. 
the noodles. I don't know if you ever had like noodles. It's like it's like a soup. So oh. like a bowl. Oh, bowl. yeah. Huh? You said what? Yeah, pho, something like yeah, that. Pho. Oh, yeah, pho. something like that, like noodles. <laughs> you got like shrimp, um, chicken, pork. Uh, you got the eggs, and be spicy, bro. That's, that's Tough. A, yeah, that's some shit. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, shoot. I don't know if I'm a big fan of pho. Nah, pho. you don't like it, bro. Yeah, gonna but like it's just like you know, like ramen noodles. Ramen noodles. Yes. I would yes. never, I would never eat the broth. I would just eat the noodles. The noodles. Oh. No, nah, but it doesn't come with the bar. Like, okay. It's really like, yeah. It's really so like, it is. It's just noodles then, ramen noodles. It's, yeah, it's ramen noodles with the with the sauce. It's like, it's spicy though. You like spicy stuff? Hell yeah, I like spicy yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, You can put shrimp, whatever you want. Like, come with eggs. It's different, bro. I fuck with spicy it. stuff. You been watching, like, football mm -hmm. at all? Like, yeah, the football I'm, season? Yeah, I've been watching football. Because I, I have not been keeping up with Maryland too, too no. much. I've uh, been keeping up with hella teams. We doing like okay. I think we're three and two. Three and two. That ain't that ain't a bad start though. Not a bad start. We three and two. Oh, we lost to Michigan State and we lost to Indiana. Indiana is uh defeated right now. Yeah, those are good teams. Yeah, we play. Not, um, don't accept the loss like that, but still, like those are good teams. Michigan State. <laughs> <laughs> we play North North you? North Friday though. Yeah, so this okay. okay. At home, you can be are there any specific teams you are you looking forward to playing this season? Yeah, sure. Oregon is Oregon. that at home? No, we played them at Oregon. At Oregon, play them. I want, okay. I'm looking forward to play at Indiana and Oregon. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna definitely be a lookout because I'm I'm big on basketball. I don't even know why. I think it's just because you know the DMV and me for real. Yeah. And I grew up watching, you know what I'm saying? Hoop diamonds, all that. Yeah, hoop diamonds, all that. All that. Yeah, all yeah. the time, bro. Big yeah. on it. I'll be in class just watching it. Watching this, yeah. Boy, yeah. I don't even know why. I'm freaking. I'm five nine. I'm not telling them to play ball. <laughs> I, just, I just watch. Well, it's good to watch. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. Football, like college football too. Like you know, I fuck, I fuck with uh, Colorado. Like I, I, I like watching Hunter and and Charles Hunter. Yeah, I like watching them boys, man. Them boys. I might, I might get to meet, bro. I have a feeling I might get to meet them. Yeah. You might though. Shit, you might be in the right place at the right time. You never know. I have a, I don't know. I have a good feeling I might get to. They, they were just, they were just in Orlando. They played UCF last weekend. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I was about to say. I was like, hold on, what? No, no, no. no. Yeah, it is over here. Yeah, it is over there. So yeah, I fuck with them boys, and I don't know if you're watching football right now. Who's running for Heisman? They got that boy from Boise State. I don't know if you've seen it. Bro, dude is going off. Oh my god! Going off, like going off. <laughs> he said, "Oh my god!" Out the way, bro. He's not like Travis Hunter. He gonna yeah. hit shit. He gonna turn around, spin, nothing. He just. You know, but the way Brody stands before he starts running is crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just stands regular, like almost like an NPC type. Like, <laughs> yeah, like going crazy. Yeah, bro, yeah. I'll be keeping up with football. Like every Saturday, I just be kicking it. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch the games. They play, they play this year. They play this Saturday. They play Kansas. Multiview. You got besides Maryland, I guess. Do you have a, a favorite like football team you watch or any teams that you be keeping up with? I ain't gonna lie. Just because I went to Kansas State for my first year, that's when I really started playing, uh, start watching football. Mm -hmm. I was watching the Chiefs, especially because they won when I was at Kansas State. Yeah. So, like, I'd be keeping up with the Chiefs. But since I came back, since I came here, I'd be watching the Ravens, though. Lamar. Hey, oh, okay. Yeah. They play the Commanders. Hey, okay. hey in Baltimore. So, I'm going to Hey, you, you definitely got to go to a Commanders game. I highly recommend. I don't they're know doing how good too. They're doing good too this year. Right, see right now, and that's the wild part, bro. Because that's where I grew up. You know what I'm saying? When they were the skins, yeah. oh, not doing good at right. all. No, they, they got good quarterback though. Niggas just got drafted. So yeah, they Daniels. Them. They got, right now, and like I seen it, I seen the record. I said, ain't no way. They yeah. got one of the highest records right now in the league. Ain't no way. Am I about to? Am I about to buy a jersey after freaking 15 years later? I might. I might. I don't know. They're doing good. They're doing good. Yeah, they better not lose that streak. And then it's just 
I mean, yeah. they got Baltimore. I'm gonna see. Lamar ain't going going for that. Mm-hmm. You got any like? Because you don't even know Maryland like that. Nah. Like, I'm thinking of all the things that you can do, but you probably don't even know. Yeah. You a roller coaster person? Nah, man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm mm-hmm. putting my son, my life in the dangerous spots and shit like that. What do you What do you like doing in the off season? You got free time. What you finna no, do? No, 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 no. I like like going to like fairs, like you know things like that. Like for the most part, I like bowling. You know, I like bowling. I like off season, bro. I be in Miami. Oh, you that kind of oh shoot. No, 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 no. Not like that. Though. Not like. Okay. You gotta explain. You gotta explain. In Miami, like I like just, I just like to be the Miami vibes because I got family in Miami. You know. Okay. Perfect. I like to be like you know be there jet skis. All my trainers live in Miami, so like I do for some uh, there. You know, I just stay there two three weeks enjoying it. Yeah, I have some fun, but like for the most part, it's like be by the be by the beach. You know, just that mm-hmm. tropical vibe and things like that. But like I like bowling, bro. I read. You know, I like to go like to fairs. Like I I like to like you know do some. Paintball, like any anything, you know, yeah, anything they involve like activities, Activity. um, you know, like yeah, yeah. The furthest I've ever been close to Miami, honestly, is Fort Lauderdale. That's it. Yeah. I've been to like Miami, Miami, maybe once, just yeah. because you already know how it is. It's spring break, so I would not even be taking that chance. I'll yeah, Fort Lauderdale, like 30, 30, 40 for Miami. Okay, okay. Hey, you have to, you have to elaborate. If my mind only went to one place <laughs> when you said Miami. Yeah, cause I know I didn't know sell get down like that. Nah, 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 nah. nah. <laughs> Every now and then, you know, I mean, my people, but not like that. Though. I'll be chilling. Yeah, have their life. Can't have their life too much, bro. That life gonna get you. Gonna be trying to place. Yeah, I don't. Know, I don't even know. Like, cause I, I just talking to someone a couple of weeks ago that that was born and raised in Miami. And he was telling me like the only place that people really know because of media is. You know, it's just like a, it's like a mall area or something like that. Uh-huh. It's like a small little area of Miami, and that's it. It's probably like Miami Beach. South Beach. It's so probably. Yeah. Where there's like basketball courts outside. Yeah, yeah South Beach. Yeah, South over Beach. there, over there. For sure. Are the clubs there too? Are the food places there too? Yeah. So South Beach for sure. 